So dashing. It's okay. <laughs> Today's your day, man. I know. Just born with that. Oh, he eh? wishes, wishing you well already. I know, that shows I'm going to be a great dad. Because you are a good man. Mm. How are you, little one? Dad, why do you abandon me and mommy all these years? Please come back home. What did I just hear? What did she just say to you now? She just called me dad. You had a child and you hid it from me? You had a child all this while? Really? I, I, I... What did she say? What did you say? Please, I'm sorry, my daughter, she talks too much. What embarrassing moment of my life. How would I have known that the man I was about to get married to has a child? Bianca, you need to calm down. You're telling me to calm down? When it's clearly written on the wall, even a little child can see the handwriting. All I am saying is taking a decision in anger isn't the best. I recently had all these things mapped out. He just wanted to disgrace and embarrass me. Probably at the verge of the pastor saying, if you want this couple to be joined together, raise up your hand. The woman will just raise up her hand and put me to shame. So where are we driving to? Anywhere. Anywhere just to cool my head. You want to abandon your wedding? I don't care anymore. I can't explain. Just, just hear me out. Please. What explanation do you have exactly? That you've been married with a child and you lied to my face that you're single, Harrison. Hey, don't be ridiculous. I've never been married. I do not know that child from anywhere. Really? Uh, babe, babe, you have to believe me now. Believe you? Of course you have to put a gun on my head for me to believe you. How do you explain that a child ran from nowhere and held you so passionately? Calling you father and asking you why you abandoned her and her mother over the years. Harrison, you're lying to my face even when caught red-handed. Babe, I swallowed everything I hold sacred. I do not know that child. Look, I was even shocked when she was running towards me. You have to believe me now, I do not know the child. You're still lying. You won't believe it all. Babe, babe, you have to believe me now, babe. Bianca! What kind of love is this I'm leaving? I'm leaving you.
Maybe you want to help me with this? No. You're good. Yeah. You know, do you have your money to have this big house and it's still down to it? That's one of the reasons that I actually love you. You're my man. I'll do anything to make you happy. I love you too. I love you so much. So why don't we make it? What? Jollof fries? Mmm, I love jollof fries. Same here. I know. So what am I going to bring? What am I going to do with? Give me another plate. Okay. What kind of love is this of me? Babe, I'm sorry. Babe, babe, I'm going. Babe, look, I would never do anything to hurt you, please. Believe me, I'm sorry. I can do anything just to make you feel happy. I can do anything for you, just for you to be happy. Bianca, leaving your wedding scene was never the right thing to do. It wasn't. What do you expect me to do? That child had a striking resemblance with him. Your emotions should be controlled, not to override your sentiments. Look, I cannot deny what I believe in. I met my man in the most untrustworthy profession, Masuz. I believe he must have impregnated one of the numerous girls he slept with. <sighs> Bianca, you shouldn't have thought about marrying Harrison if you don't trust him. Irene, I love my man so much. I will not allow another woman take him away from me. I have to protect what I have. Well, you, you need to be careful so you don't ruin what you've been building. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's what I... This small um, child won't take post and for my career. <laughs> man, this is this is very strange. I tell you, man. But for real, you mean you don't know that child from Adam? <laughs> I can literally swear on it. I don't know that child from anywhere. Was not before your very eyes that the mother came to take the child from the scene? I was even apologizing. Um, something else. So, so, how we are you able to convince Bianca? <laughs> Oh, no, 100%. Well, I could. I applied all the format I could do in apologizing, you know. I ended up washing a plate at night. <laughs> now you agree with me that you are a plate washer. I agree. I agree, bro. <laughs> Look, I had to do anything possible to make the other love me again. I don't want any troubles. That's good. Yeah, I see. Oh, man. It's all good. Material 1000 yards. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, how did your day go? It went well. Mm. Guess what? What? I got you a surprise. Oh, really? Surprise for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is 1 million naira, all for you. We don't know what for. For making me have multiple orgasms and always making me happy. Okay. Babe, thank you so much. You know you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm -hmm. I don't take you for granted. I know. 
Why don't you just run it quick here and here? Hmm? Okay. Sorry. I have a call. Business. Okay. Yes. We need to. We need to go inside. We need to go inside. Bianca! Bianca, where are you going? Thank you, sir. Oh. Sir, I'm so grateful. I've always looked forward to this day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, here are the document. Please sign. You copy? Yes, sir. Um, please make sure you start this contract as soon as possible. I will, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, by the way, why are you on a wedding day? It's just a photo shoot for your brand. It's alright, no problem. Have a nice day, sir. And you too.
Yeka, where the hell are you coming from? Don't sweet at me. I said, where the hell are you coming from? Eh? After pulling up that embarrassing stunt in the church, running off our wedding the second time. I'm sorry. I had a call from a commissioner friend to sign a contract worth 150 million naira. I heard the commissioner was going to give it to someone else if I didn't show up. I'm so sorry. How I got the contract is still a miracle to me. And you couldn't tell me? Hey, what do you even take me for? You, oh, you're taking me for granted? Sweetheart, I am not taking you for granted. What I did, I did for the both of us. That's my means of living. Let me ask you, where do you think I got the money I used to put up the wedding? Besides, you don't have money. We can always fix another wedding. And what are you going to tell the people at the church? My family, your own family. Honestly, I didn't know what to think at that moment. I couldn't afford to lose a whooping sum of 150 million. We can always fix this, baby, please. Where are you going to? I'm going to my house. Paris. Hi guys, my name is Mercy Johnson Okoje, Nollywood actress. Subscribe to Nollywood Classic TV. You want to see the best movies? From My Breakfast to Selen Sebuga, down to the best and the awesomest movies. Subscribe. Nollywood Classic TV. Hi y'all. Kadesh. Harry Sin, I still cannot phantom what is giving her God. Which woman will abandon her husband on the very door of her wedding and run to God knows where? A day that is supposed to be the happiest day of her life. My brother, you've seen it now. Bianca abandoned me to go sign a contract. That is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. So she prevents signing a contract to her wedding? Ha! I've never seen this happen in my entire life. Hmm. You've seen it now. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? She prevents it. But, well, I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. This is this is this this is my problem with you. This is my problem with you. Each time I try to talk some senses into you, you keep saying things that has no meaning. Bianca loves you. Yes, she stood you up on your wedding day, in the very before of everyone at the church. Eh? Sometimes I wonder how shallow you can be in reasoning. Just, be, just because of a mere contract that worth nothing. Listen to me, Harrison. That girl is wicked and heartless. Roy, calm down. What is the meaning of this now? This is my fiance you're talking about. So? Besides, the contract you're talking about is worth over 150 million. 150 what? 150 million. But what's the money paying to you? Don't say anything. 150 million. But even at that now, even at that, she's not supposed to abandon you. That's my problem. Mm. Yes. I've always known you to be a lively person. But right now, she doesn't seem alright at all. Going by the incident that occurred the other day at the wedding is enough to make someone not to feel alright. Come on, Kate. It could happen to anyone. I mean, I am not bitter about it at all. Not at all. So, were you able to fathom what her reasons were? I haven't spoken to her yet. I thought it's wise to come and apologize to you first. I, honestly, I feel pity for that man. The way she abandoned him there. It was, it was horrible. How was she able to cope with that? I can't say. And besides, it's her husband now. They should sort themselves out. Yeah. So, 
can I at least offer you something now? Sure. Anything soft is fine. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Harrison, why have you not been taking my calls nor responding to my text messages? That's because you have refused to apologize for what you did. Apologize for what? What did I do? Bianca, you're really unrepentant. Harrison, I have been calling you countlessly. You have refused to pick my calls. Anyways, I have fixed a date for another wedding. This is the invitation cards. Invite your friends. Bianca, you fixed a date for our wedding without consulting me. Wait, I don't understand. Are you the person marrying me or am I the person marrying you? Consult you for what? As a wedding planner. How many cards did I even give to you? Give it to me. Why did I give you this many cards? These cards are very expensive. The money I use in printing these cards can feed you for three days. Besides, you don't even have any meaningful person to invite to my wedding. So I'm going to give you just one. I hope the suit you wore the last time is still very much available because I don't want to hear stories. I will not buy another suit for you. And those your friends you invited the last time, I didn't like the way they were looking. They wore rumpled shirts. Tell them to iron their shirts properly. They shouldn't look like rat poison to my wedding. This is the card. Take. Get out. I'm a single lady. I get a cash, I get money, I dare good to go. Babe, this is a wrong turn. This is not the road to my house. We're going to my house. Uh, oh, to your house? Yes. How can we go to your house? That's an abomination. How? Uh, wait, wait, wait. After a, after a wedding, if a woman moves into a man's house, how will you be going to your house? What am I going to your house to do? Well, you want me to go to your house, your poultry? Are you serious? I should go to your house, your stinking house. Please, move on. Stop this car. What? Harrison! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Eh? Why would you tell me to go to your house? I'm going to my house. If you're not coming with me, I'm going. Harrison, get back into the car. Get back into what car? I'll go away. Are you out of your mind? You're embarrassing me. Embarrassing me? Yes, let's go. I'm going to my house. Harrison! 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 What, what, is what happened? What's he doesn't want to go to my house. What? Harrison! You don't understand this. He doesn't want to go to your house. Yes! He doesn't want to go to your house. Yes! Why would you ask him to go to your house? Yeka is the right thing to do. He is your husband. He is poor. His house stinks. I cannot live there. He has to come back. I can't even believe you're on his side. Are you, are you serious? It's not typical that a woman moves into her husband's house. Why is my own case different? Come on, Harry. You should have known Bianca well before jumping into marriage with her. Besides, her properties are yours now. Look, I detest it when I'm being seen less a man. What's, what's this? Eh? She even takes decision without letting me know. Come on, Harry. Nobody is belittling you. All I am saying is to see reasons with me and moving with her. Hmm. It's for your own good. Look, maybe she's forgetting a man is a man, whether he has money or not. The earlier she gets to accord me the respect I deserve, the better for the both of us. Okay, that won't be a problem. I'll talk to her, okay? Better do. I will. Please. Sorry. Okay, let me just see you. Boy, what are you doing here? How did you even get in here? Honey, can you please calm down and hear me out? I acted under the influence of alcohol. Please. Are you done? 
Do I look like a child that you can lie to? I, I gave you everything. I gave you my time, my attention, my love. Yet you chose to stab me in the back. Dress for work already? Yes, I am. So you didn't tell me you were coming. Oh, don't I have rights to dash in and out at my will? <laughs> of course you do. You do. So, my sister, my kid sister Sonia. Oh. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Thank you. She looks exactly like you. I know. Full of life and very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So she'll be with me for a while and then be back. Alright, alright. I'm running late already. I have to be on my way. Mm -hmm. Right. You, 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 you're still around? Yes, yes, yes. I'll wait for you to come. Okay. Alright, Esther. Have a great day. You too. Don't forget to go to the market. Alright. All right. All the best. Bye. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, Please wait. My name is Roy. So you can call me Roy and not Sir, okay? You look very beautiful. Have anyone told you that before? You just did. Thank you. Alright. Um, please get me a glass of whiskey. Yeah. Okay. others do to abstain from getting pregnant. <laughs> what if my sister finds out? Are you the one to tell her? Or will I, uh, will I be the one to tell her? <laughs> See, please, stand up, go and clean yourself up before she comes back. <laughs> okay? I don't want her to come back and see us like this now. <laughs> okay? Of the day. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Just slight fever. Slight fever? Yes. Have you called the doctor for a checkup? I was about doing that before I slept off. You were about doing that. Go run a test, Sonia. Okay, sister. Okay, sister. Sonia. Have I ever done anything wrong to you? Have I been treating you badly in this house? Why did you choose to stab me in the back? Have I ever deprived you of anything you asked for? Have I? And you chose to pay me back in this manner. 
I am asking you. Stop, please, I'm sorry. Please. Please, I'm sorry. I need you to tell me the truth. And nothing but the truth. Who is responsible? Who is responsible for your pregnancy, Sonia? Stop. I am talking to you! It's Uncle Roy. Baby, it wasn't my fault. Don't blame me. Honey, you don't give me attention. It's either you are hurrying to work or you are tired when you return from work. What do you want me to do? I am a man and blood runs in my vein. Please understand. I am sorry. That day I came visiting, you left me without even caring how I feel. You can't even, you can't even see it in my eyes. Honey, I am a man. And blood runs in my vein. What do you want me to do? Get out. I said, I, I said, get the heck out of my house before I do something stupid. Get out! Honey, can you hear me? I, I said, get out. Honey, I am sorry. Get out. I am sorry. Question is that you already know the kind of job I do. I want to be very sure I am not guessing wrongly. You already know I work on some shoes. I want you to quit that job. Why? Because I want you to. Bianca, I can't just wake up in the morning and tell me to quit my job. Besides, I never complained to you that I was not comfortable with my job. Why would you be comfortable with your job? When all you do is press different women's breasts, massage and touch all their bodies. Being, Why would you complain? Are we being serious right now? You are quitting that job and that's on period. Okay, you know that. Look, I am not in the mood for unnecessary arguments. If you're looking for what to do, you can as well take off your clothes, follow me to the bedroom, massage me properly with all the strength that you have as a man, and get me pregnant. And I'll place you on a hundred thousand naira allowance weekly. Come with me to the bedroom. I'd like to have my breakfast now. Be quick with it. What? Ah. Bianca, you saying I should go make breakfast? Is it not your responsibility as a wife? What's your sole responsibility as a husband in this house? 
Every full-fledged responsible man that I know wakes up in the morning and go to work. What exactly do you do? Do you have a job? Yeah, what sort of insult is this? I had a job. A good paying job that was paying me 50000 naira monthly. But it was the same you that said I should quit the job. So in this little head of yours, you think 50000 naira can take care of us? What can 50000 naira do exactly? Can 50000 naira pay electricity bills? Can it pay water bills? Can 50000 stock up the kitchen with the food stuff I use in feeding your ass? Can it? Go into the kitchen right now and make me breakfast. But snappy with it. Nonsense. Bianca. Sometimes I... I wonder... What gives you the God to speak to me in such a manner? <sighs> Look. If you know what is good for you... Go into the kitchen and make your breakfast and stop, stop portraying matrimonial laziness. How dare you? How dare you talk to me in such degrading and demeaning manner? Are you out of your mind? Are you stupid? Did you ever pay my bride price with your heart and money? Did you? Answer me! Remember, I pay the bills. I call the shots. Go to that kitchen right now and make me breakfast, else you will not like what I'll do to you. Get out now, this minute. Leave. This kind of life, life never belongs away at all. I'd love to have peppered rice for dinner. Make sure it's not too spicy and it should be very delicious. Make yourself useful by cleaning up that mess. Is I going to get a hug? Peck?
Why are you treating me like a slave? I'm tired of your sister's ill treatment. It is getting to me. Sometimes I begin to wonder if getting married to her was a mistake. Your sister commands me up and down. I even wonder if, if she's my husband. And if I'm, a, if I'm a, her wife. Come on, I I understand how you feel. Bianca loves you, but she's very difficult to come by. I assure you, I will talk to her. The earlier she realizes you're her husband and a crown over her head, the better for her. Do you know your sister woke up one morning and just asked me to quit my job? Why? Maybe you should ask her when you actually see her. Because obviously, I cannot just be in this house sitting down doing nothing. What does she expect you to, to get money to pay the bills as man of the house? She feels I have nothing to bring to the table where I'm worthless. Because she has made money. Come on, Harrison. I've told you to remove that mindset from you. Whatever she has is equally yours. Hmm? As long as you're her lawfully wedded husband, I assure you, I will, I will talk sense to her. It's okay. It's okay. Um, sorry, please, pardon my manners. I didn't even get to offer you something. What, do you, what would you like? Oh, thank you. I have to rush to the office. I have clients to attend to. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's alright. I look forward to hearing from you. Of course. Alright. Okay. Hi, Bianca. Kate, what are you doing around my office environment? I was actually coming to see you. i um, been calling your line. You're not picking. Oh, probably you called during working hours. You know how it is when I'm working. I thought as much. <laughs> um, been meaning to ask you, what is going on between you and your, your husband? Did Harrison tell you we're having issues? Not at all. But it tells all over him, and I can tell. It only takes uh, someone who's a psychologist to notice. Go straight to the point and stop beating around the bush. All I'm saying is, the earlier you start taking Harrison as your lawfully wedded husband, the better. Stop making him feel less a man. Husbands are crowned over our head. I don't get it. Kate, did you come here to lecture me on how to run my family affairs? Are you serious? Look, I am not one of those clients that solicitate for your counsel. If you don't mind, excuse me. Are you serious? Are you that jobless? You come here to talk trash to me? I don't blame you. Don't baby me. You not discuss our family affairs with people. Um, not another lie from you. What's your job specification again? All you do is stay in my house, eat my food, and then look for a gossip mate. Bianca. Bianca, you deprived me of my income. You deprived me of my income as a man. I did not complain. You made me do chores a woman would do. I still did not complain. Bianca, look, I'm sick and tired of this thing called marriage. I've had it up to here. Wonderful speech. Magnificent. You should be ashamed of yourself for calling yourself a man with just 50,000 Naira as salary. Let me ask you. All the while you've been working and earning that peanut, what have you been able to achieve with it? If not sleeping with different women that come to your spa, all in the name of Masoos. Bianca, don't forget it was still in that same spa you met me before this thing called marriage. What do you call a male whore again?
Chicolo. It was a top notch. Oh, sorry. They're just trying to buy me over. You think I don't know? It's 10 days after my wedding. You didn't come to check on me all this while. Even though I went for the Grand Door social meeting, you wouldn't have escorted me home. And you call yourself my friend. Really. I'm sorry, Bianca. You are absolutely right. I mean, there is nothing to justify my actions. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> but on a serious Thank note, you. Were you serious when you said my wedding was the top notch of town? Absolutely. In Are fact, you sure you're not my jokes, this girl. It is no jokes. In fact, all the bloggers carried it. I am surprised you didn't know about it. Have you been behind the world? My dear, you know I'm always working. I usually don't have time for social media stuffs. My so-called husband, that dummy that I'm married, he's supposed to be updating me on what is going on, but no, he won't. All he's good at is bed matics. Calling your husband a dummy, is that necessary? He is worse than a dummy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey. Are you blind? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you stupid? Are you senseless? You see what I'm talking about? I married a dummy with my hard earned money. What is in this bottle now that he cannot just pour juice peacefully? Eh? There's nothing he can do. He's not useful at all. Oh, take it easy on him. Please, I should take it easy on him. Someone that just ruined my expensive outfit. Listen, there will be no cooking in this house for two days. The money I'm supposed to use to feed your ass, I will use it to get another expensive outfit. Clean this place and get out. No sense. Damn. I think I have to be on my own. Oh, my love. Yeah. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. The magazine we talked about. I almost forgot. That's true. Let me get it. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Bianca, Bianca, if you don't see it, then leave it some other time. I'll be on my way. After everything I have done for Iwe, I pick her up from the dungeon, clean her up. Put a roof over her head. And she had the guts to chase me out of the same house I bought with my money. God, what exactly do women want? Excuse your face. It is easy. Go buy him now. Go buy him. Hi. 
this guy don't form my hand. Eh, which kind of thing is this? My name is Roy, so can I know your name? Oh God, I beg, I beg. I don't, want, I don't want drama. If you don't want to carry me, go house. Just shift. Shift, I beg, make I see customers. That's no, okay. I'm not the cost for my day here. You know, I carry them. Hello. Hello. Hi. So how much is for the night? Okay. 50,000. And I go do you well. Just 50,000. 50,000, no. Ha! Just 50,000. Alright, hop in then. Really? Yeah, <laughs> Okay, handsome man. So, let me open the door first. Okay. I'm not coming. Get back. Come on, get back. Let's go. Chief! Look at my nose. Oh! Ah! Oh, yeah, turn your back. Turn your back. Ah! Baby! Only. Customer! Let's go. <laughs> Customer. Irene, can I ask you a question? You want to ask me when next I will come, Abby? No, 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 not at all. Please, why, why did you choose to do a shower walk? Okay, which kind of question be that one? No, they ask me that nonsense, I beg. Sorry, don't be offended. I know they like him. I know they like him at all. Don't be offended. Don't they tell you? No verse. Maybe I did not ask politely, but I, 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 I want to know why, why, why you choose to do this kind of job. Person they choose to do this kind of work. Person they choose to do a shower. Or can a condition make the fish bend? So now they ask me a beg. No ask me. Okay. I am very sorry. But I still want to know why you choose to do this kind of job. Look at you, you are too pretty. And, and, and you look very decent for this kind of job. Eh? Mm. 
Well, if you insist. Yes, I insist. Please talk to me. I am the breadwinner of my family. I lost my parents when I was five. I had to drop out from school so that my sister could complete hers. I have no one to help me. So. Life has been very difficult for my siblings and I. My madam came to, she came to the village to pick me. She said she had a job for me. <sighs> Only to get here and find out that this is kind of work. Yeah. She made me sign an agreement that I'll pay her up with the sum of one million naira. What? That is the only way I'll be free from her. I've been able to pay 400,000, remaining 600 to pay up. So please, don't ask. Oh. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. Will you stop this work if I if I pay the remaining money? Oh, I beg. No, 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 just go there. You're not the first person to make that promise. They disappointed me, all of them. So please, I don't want to hear it. Thank listen, you. listen, Irene. I am not joking. I am not other men. I am Roy. I really want to see you off the street. I want to help you. Get you a good paying job. Give you a good life. You are too pretty for this job. Please. Let me clear up the debt so that you'll be free. Bank. 
Crystal Bank. Alright. Two years for Koro. That's it. I just sent you 1.1 million. Huh? What? Thank you. You can keep the 100,000. Relax. Okay? Relax. It's my money. Honey, please. Don't. It's my money. Honey? I I got this place for you. I hope you will like it. <laughs> for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you serious? For real. Is all yours? This is beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Probably I... I don't know where to start from. I mean... You made me a free woman. Now... A roof over my head. You even got me a job. I am grateful. Thank you. <sighs> Honey... All thanks to God. And I am glad that I'm able to put smiles on your face. Indeed. You see, seeing a pretty lady like you on the streets, it's detrimental. It's not good at all. Yeah. doing there in the first place? I guess you've been coming there. Uh, well, um, truth be told, it wasn't my first time. Uh, but w when I saw you, I felt something strange in me. So I had to press on. And see where we are today. Irene, yeah. you, you are an epitome of beauty. Yes. And no man will see you and turn his back. You are so beautiful. And I love you. And said you want to see me. Yes, I have something important to tell you. Okay, go on. Babe! Baby! Let's go. Please come. Yes, I do. Roy, meet my boyfriend. Paul. He's been dating for years now and he has been so supportive. Uh, Paul, meet Roy, the guy I told you about. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much sir, for bringing my girlfriend and I out of poverty. My God will definitely bless you. Okay? You mean you know that she's doing her shower work and you are still dating? Well, yes. I knew she's been doing her shower work and we are happy. I love her. 
it was unfortunate I couldn't help her balance up her mother. But thank God you're here to help us. Like I said, my God bless you. Amen. God. This girl tell me no. So she have a boyfriend and I spent my money thinking I'm going to marry her. This life no balance. So. Roy, are you fine? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm 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 fine. I'm okay. okay. Okay, okay. Fine. Um in that case. Your boyfriend will have to work for me for five years as a git man to pay me all that I have spent on you. Okay, sir. There's no problem. I will just do anything you want. Like you just said, I will do it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't mind me. I was just joking, okay? Yes. I, I didn't do what I did for her to get something in return. Okay, I, I was just joking. Thank you. Okay, I I will have to be on my way. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Miss. anything to eat for the past two days. Really? Yeah. Bianca did not make food for you? How could she be this mean towards you? I, I, I don't know why some women, they don't appreciate their God-given husband. Like, really? Harry, listen. Don't worry. Anytime you want to come to this place, just feel free. Any day. Whatever you want, I'll give you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me quickly make something for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> I need like four million naira to start up a business so I could ask this in footing the bills in the house. What business are we talking about? Um I wanna get a car, then register it for the boy. You want me to give you four million naira so you can get a taxi? So you can start carrying women all over the place. No, I don't get it. You want me to be an object of ridicule to my friends? So they'll say Bianca's husband is now a taxi driver? You're joking. Oh, baby, it's for business. I am not giving you a dime. 
You want to rub my name in the mud? Are you out of your mind? Here, take this list. Go to the market and buy everything accordingly. Bianca, uh, how do you expect me to go to the market and get these things? I thought that's your obligation as a wife. How much is on the list? How much is written there? 620,000. Give me. Now give me the money so I can go to the market and buy these items. Transfer the money to me now. You don't have any money, right? Mr. Obligation. Take! Whose obligation it is to take care of the family? Is it not the man? Whose obligation to put food on the table? Is it not the man? Whose obligation to do everything that concerns a family? Is it not the man? Are you doing any of them? You're here talking about obligation when you're not close to any of it. Bianca, must you remind me every time we have a conversation about who is fitting the bills in this house? Do you even care to know how I feel? I don't care how you feel. I don't care how anybody thinks. I work so hard to feed your ass. I work so hard to put food on the table. Go to the market and buy these items. Don't send me to anger. Don't piss me off. I work so hard to put food on the table. I work so hard to feed you, a grown man. So don't get me angry, please. There's no fuel in the car. Use Keke. Or get a taxi. Or better still, if there's no more track, after all, you're a man. What's going on here? Are you organizing any party? Uh, these are the food items I want to use to prepare. Some food. For how many people? For the both of us. For the both of us? How? This quantity of rice for the both of us? Is this how you waste food? Anyways, I don't blame you. You don't have a job. You don't know how hard it is to make money. That's why you can waste food. I do all the hard work, all you do is sit down and waste my money. How can you prepare this quantity of rice for two people? Really? Church rats. Listen, don't piss me off. I found this rice immediately. I found the rice now! What's that? Are you kidding me? What sort of a woman would be so saucy to her husband just because she has money? Why? There's a saying that goes, when a woman tends to have money more than her husband, she tends to be bossy and authoritative. My sis is a typical example of it. So wait, um, what have you done about it? What have I not done about it? The last time I tried talking to her, her response was so weird. As if if I pressed further, it would have been disastrous. You know, it's only a widow that can tell how important her husband can be, no matter how rich or poor he is. You're right. I've already spoken to her husband about the plan. I pray it's work out perfectly as planned. Okay, in that case, um, I'll try my possible best. I mean, talk to him.
people pack this thing here? No, no. Harrison! Harrison! Hey! Hey, hey, welcome. Who packed this thing here? I, I did. Uh, uh, this thing I got via I purchased for my business. You did what? I thought I asked you not to become a taxi driver. Why are you bent on making me a laughing stock amongst my friends? Why are you bent on disgracing me? What is wrong with you? Oh, 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 babe. If I go in and come out, I do not want to see this carton here. Babe, this is not a carton. This is the car I got for my business. Listen, you are under my roof. And as such, you must be obligated to the rules in my house. It is my instruction that you will not become a taxi driver. And that is final. Now listen to me. One of the days you subject me to staying at home without doing nothing. The earlier you get used to this, the better for the both of us. What are you looking at? Get out! Harrison! Harrison, you will not come back to me! Harrison! Are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me you're back to town. Yes, I'm back to town. Where do you meet? Ah, uh, well, well, um... I can't wait to, you know. <laughs> I know you miss me too. I do. I do. Uh, okay, um. But wait, you know, ever since, ever since you've been in that abroad, you have a high taste. But I'll just look for one of these fancy restaurants so we'll just go cool off. After then, we'll do some Netflix and <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I'll just text you the address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait for my beard to feel this good chill, yes. Dripping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, it's fine. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll text you the See you soon, baby. See you soon. I love you too. Bye. Where are you going? I'm talking to you, Harrison. Harrison! Honey? Harrison? Your phone is ringing. with <coughs> Harrison you're telling a woman that you love her in my house on my matrimonial bed who does that Sorry, I forgot it's too, too much more in your bed. Good night. 
Baby, don't do this, please. I'm sorry. Come to bed. Please. He hasn't got into this now, Harrison. for him. It's just that she's been a bit difficult. You know her kind of person. She keeps things to herself, no matter how emotional it is. I believe he's telling on her. Mm -hmm. You think so? Of course. It's a gradual process. It's alright. I have to go now, okay? Alright. Alright. Serious. I believe you, darling. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. There's something I've been to ask. Go ahead. Anything for my baby. Of course. Look, babe. Um, I would need like five million uh, to start off. Will ten million be enough for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'll give you the ten million. Babe, you give me ten million. Ah, uh, I'm short of words. Thank you, babe. Thank you so. It's enough. The millionaire. Ah, it's enough now. Thank you so much. Oh, babe, I love you. Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, Don't worry. This night, I'm going to do you some, you know? <laughs> Bye, baby. Kisses. Who could be this person calling him on phone? Because I know Harrison cannot afford buying airtime to talk that length on the phone. <laughs> I heard I promise Harrison 10 million. Bianca, you have to do something very fast before you lose your husband to some random woman. Yes, I need to act fast. Can't be serious. You mean you haven't told him all this why? Eh? That's too much now. I was following my instinct. Really? And your instinct didn't tell you that you are overdoing things. Yes, you are doing things. 
Okay, if I may ask you, why did you tell him I am your boyfriend? Well, if you must know, I told him for my peace of mind. I mean, you know how you guys behave. When you do something for a woman, you always want something in return. So, in order to scare him away, I had to tell him you're my boyfriend. Mm. Mm. There is something about him. I thought he would get upset and take back everything, as in the house. As you told him, I am your boyfriend. Eh? What if he finally notice I am your brother and not your boyfriend? Don't you think you'll end up losing everything? Well, he messed up and I asked him never to come here again. Never. How did you mean he messed up? Never mind. How is Sonia? Huh? Sonia is in the village with her pregnancy. Irene, see, if I get to see that person or get hold of that man that put Sonia in that family way, I swear he will ever... All enough. Eat your food. Talk too much. This chicken is very strong. I don't know how to break it. It's not easy to leave it there. Mm. Leave it there. See if you give me to make it. Harry, I'm telling you, I couldn't believe my eyes. Harrison was comfortably laying on my bed, making love calls with another woman. Unbelievable. What, what gave him the guts? Hmm. The other day, I overheard him making phone calls. The woman was promising him 10 million naira to start up a business. It is very obvious. It is written all over the world. I mean, how can a man you feed, clothe, provide shelter over his head, behave like that with you? Why? Irene, if I find that girl, she will not like what I will do to her. <laughs> Let me not find her. I think it's time you throw me out of the house. I mean, talking to a woman in your house. <laughs> the next thing is to bring the woman in your matrimonial bed. Throw him out. Is everything stupid? That man is playing with fire. He is biting the hands that is feeding him. The only hmm. thing you will do is to throw him out of your house. That is the best way. Else he will do worse. He will do more. You're right. I'll see to that. Let me go, please. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'm just pissed. Take it easy. Come here. All right. Take care. Harrison! Harrison! What is it? Why are you shouting my name? I can hear you. What is your picture doing with another woman on social media platforms? Oh, uh, that's, that's my page, right? Oh, yes, that's my page. Um, I have a right to post anything I want to post. On. No, you don't. Look, ain't you ashamed of yourself? You condescended so long to take picture with this horse, this animal, this dirty thing? Bianca, don't you ever call my friend a thing again or else... Else what? What are you going to do? Oh, you've not grown wings, right? You are now a man, you cannot talk back at me when I'm talking. The data you use in posting those pictures, who owns it? Me! It's my hard earned money I use in buying it. Everything you own belongs to me. Even the shirt you're wearing belongs to me, and you have the guts to take a picture with another woman. Even the dress you wore to pose amorously on that picture belongs to me. I bought it with my money. Everything about you, I own it. I own you. You have no right to take pictures with another woman. Even the phone, where's that stupid phone? Even that phone you use in taking pictures belongs to me. Do you have anything? No, do you own anything? The things that other men brag that they have, what do you have? Even the pants I bought it for you. And everything, even, even this your beard. Isn't that my money you use in growing it? The cream you apply on it to grow the beard. So is it not my money? You are for me, fine boy, fine boy, no money. You are annoying me, Harrison. I polished you, I picked you up from the gutters. The gutters that you, that you used to swim in, that dirty gutter. I picked you up and brushed 
you. Now you think you can now carry stupid, dirty women and post pictures with them. Don't think after taking pictures with that dirty woman, you brought yourself to my house and sat on my couch with that dirty body you used to take pictures with her. Let me remind you that you are under a roof. And as such, you are obligated to the rules. To hell with your rules. I don't give a damn. You don't do what? You don't do... Bianca. If you ever... I repeat, if you ever... Raise your filthy hands to hit me again. The breath from my nostrils will blow you away like a rare wind. Any positive results? Oh, the truth is, uh, look, I don't even know anymore. I'm afraid this whole thing doesn't seem to be working. Are you sure you're playing your game well? I am. I am. Bianca is just being a hard nut to crack. All we need now is patience. I believe things will work out well. Are you sure this will work? I'm positive. So you said you wanted to see me? Yes, I said so. I... I mean, I've been having this... I've been having this... This backache. Oh my god, I mean, it's everywhere. Here. It's been hurting. Please, can you help me massage it? You know why I actually don't do this job anymore? Yeah. Okay, but... I still want you to help me. Can you, can you still help me here, just behind my neck? Uh, I mean, you could, you could actually visit this part. There are guys there that could help you at this part. Oh, I don't do this anymore, yeah. You say no. I mean, if I wanted to go to the spa, I wouldn't have called you. So please. Uh, I mean, mm, I think I have to get going. Why? I'm saying this thing. I, I mean, I. Uh, the, 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 the truth is that I love you. What? <laughs> what? What did you just say? I'm sorry if I. If I hurt you with my words, but is it truth? I'm in love with you. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I don't know why people like grief for. I don't get to have them. The reason you deserve to be treated like a king. You deserve a loyal woman, not some kind of pompous lady out there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I will treat you like a man that you are. A real man that you are. I, I mean, where is this coming from? Where is this whole thing coming from? From my heart. Listen. 
I truly love you. Okay, um, take it back to your heart, okay? I will say. Bianca. I I was wondering why you why is it taking you so much time to throw that idiot out of your house? The earlier you threw him out, the better for you. I mean, there are many fishes in the river. So I don't know why you would choose a bonga fish. Do not let him ridicule you. ASAP. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, babe, why don't you meet up at um, the lounge just after Crystal Touch Studios? Oh, okay. that wants to reap from where she did not sow. I beg your pardon? Don't beg for my pardon because you will never get it. Listen, stay away from harassing my husband. Else, and what will you do, Bianca? What will you do, tell me? Oh, else you will regret existing on planet Earth. <laughs> so you're the devil incarnate in human form. You actually have the guts to follow me down here. Coming here to warn me to say off your husband. Bianca, do you know the value of her husband? Do you know the value of her husband? Do you know what it takes to keep a husband? No, you don't. Just because you have a little change and a roof over your head, you think you've made it? Hell no, you've not. Look at you. You have the nerve to come here and talk to me, Bianca. Now, let me tell you. You see, Arisen is my man. Yes, he's my man. I don't joke with him. And I will not welcome anybody or anybody come close to him. Or anyone who will look like you to come even inch close to Arisen. Just take a good look at yourself. Oh, wait. Let me remind you. I'm actually working on this flight to relocate with me back to our world. And trust me, darling, you will not and never set your bloody eyes on him again. I promise you that. Miss Pompas. <laughs>
If care is not taken, the husband of my youth, the handsome gift that God gave me, will slip out of my hand. I cannot afford to live with the disgrace of being tagged with divorcee. What do I do? Five kids. Five! No, no. Two is okay. Two. Hey, look. Okay, three is fine. Two boys and a girl. My love. <laughs> Food is served. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. My lord. Uh, babe, hold on. Yeah, I'll call you, but. What did you just call me? I called you my lord. Do I look like your personal savior? I made your favorite food. I, I want us to go and eat. Really? So you can go into the kitchen and cook? Honey, please, let's not talk about this now. Let's just go and eat. Your food will get cold. And you know you don't like eating cold food. Uh, wait, wait a minute. What, what's, what's, go what's going on here? All of a sudden, you know what I like and don't dislike. Oh, it's no longer Harrison. Take this list and go to the market. It's no longer Harrison. Go and make me lunch. It's no longer Harrison. Go and wash the toilet. Why is this wicked and heartless? Eh? Me, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. All that is in the past now. Can we please just go and eat together? Like husband and wife should do. Thank you. 
Go and eat your food. I'm not hungry. How is it going? Everything is working as planned. It's going perfectly well. That's good news. Bianca went to the market. Yeah. She caught some stuff. Came back to the house. Cooked. And served. She won't believe that I come eat with her. So she'll come around. So what did you do? You needed to see her face when I rejected her meal. <laughs> uh, I never imagined Bianca could be that sober. We're a few steps accomplishing our aim. You have to please stop on this time around. Keep your fingers crossed. Don't let her buy you with her emotions. Are you trying to tell me she's not changed yet? Bianca is my elder sister. She hasn't changed yet. I will tell you the right time to succumb. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts and your support, okay? I appreciate it. You're welcome. I really have to rush to the office. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Good to see you once again. <laughs> All right. Bye. I got you lovely stuff, so you like them. I never told you for celebrity to my birthday. Honey, it doesn't have to be your birthday before I can gift you. Come on, check them out. They're lovely. Very expensive shirt. I don't need them. I already got some from the woman that values me. Yeah, besides, Flora got me some. So I don't need it. You know I get hurt whenever you tell me that another woman is taking care of your happiness. I care about you. No, you don't. No, you don't. You care about me and you subjected me to emotional violence. You care about me and you make me feel less a man. You care about me and you make me... You told me to a house, house boy. You care about me and you starved me in this same house. You know what? I, I don't want this. I want out of this. Besides, you wanted to end the relationship, so I want, I want out of this. And hey, the reason why I'm still in this house, taking all this bullshit, is just to save your face. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I, I didn't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Oh. Please. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. It's too late to cry. When the head is cut off. What kind of life is this up with she change one day? What kind of life is this up?
What kind of life is this I'm living? I'm leaving you. Honey, I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. I want you to touch me. I want you to cuddle me. I want you to make me feel like a woman, please. Have you ever made me feel like a man? Eh? My marriage with you has been filled with regrets from the church. And as for having sex with you, I have lost the urge. I see you as my fellow man right now. So please, I beg you, just let me be. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, please. See, I beg you in whatsoever name you serve. Please, let me sleep in peace. I beg you. Baby, I am changed right now. I have realized all my mistakes. I thought with my money, everything is possible. I was a fool. Oh, yeah, I was a fool. Please forgive. I am ready to do the needful. Please forgive me. Ready to do the needful. Forgive me. Can she change one day? What kind of life is this I'm living? Can she change one day? She change one day. What kind of life is this I'm living? Cause she change one day. We are together till they let do us part. Cause she What kind of life is this? Good morning, handsome. What is this dude doing on my body? I never told you to cover me. It was cold, so I decided to cover you up. Bianca. Bianca, leave me alone. What is it now? Leave me alone. Let me be. Me. Give me, please. I cannot leave you alone. 
I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I don't want to lose you, please. Forgive me. Bianca. I cannot leave you for another woman. Please. Bianca. If you think I'll be moved by this your cheap crocodile tears, you must be joking. I hate you. Honey, please, please, please don't do this. Let go of me. now brings women into my house. Harrison! So you now bring women into our home and make love to them on our matrimonial bed? I beg your pardon. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Where is she? Where is, where is who? Where is she? Where is she? Harrison, I'm talking to you. Bianca, what is it? You sound like urgent on the phone. Are you okay? You're crying. Irene, my home is crumbling. I'm losing my husband. This is a kind of joke or what? Hmm? Look. You're crying for Harrison. Like, really? That low life. You're crying for that excuse of a man. Come on. Look, I don't do this to yourself. What are you doing? I don't know what to do. I can't even think straight. My life is falling apart. I don't know what to do. Oh, Bianca, you're embarrassing me right now. Really? You're crying for Harrison. Bianca, you have everything. Like all the qualities to get a man of your choice. Harrison does not watch your tears. He doesn't watch it. Stop this. <gasps> Listen, what you do to an expired product is to trash it. Whatever that validates your marriage with Harrison has gone sore. So let him be. Let go. <sighs> Bianca, please, <laughs> stop crying. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Stop it. Stop crying. <laughs> Now let me tell you, you see everything is my man. Yes, he's my man. I don't joke with him. And I will not 
welcome anybody or anybody come close to him or anyone who will look like you to come even inch close to our city. Just take a good look at yourself. Oh wait, let me remind you, I'm actually working on this flight to relocate with me back to our world. And trust me, honey, you will not and never set your bloody eyes on him again. I promise you that. Baby, I am changed right now. I have realized all my mistakes. I thought with my money, everything is possible. I was a fool. Oh yeah, I was a fool. Please forgive me. Wait, 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 hold on. It's okay, it's okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm coming right to meet you. Hold on, you're coming. Where are you going, sir? I can't remember being obligated to you telling my whereabouts. You can't possibly finish answering a woman's call. And you're going out to see her and you expect your wife not to ask you where you're going to. Come on, stop me here. And I will stop you until you tell me where you're going to and who called you on the phone. I am your wife. You owe me an explanation. Bianca, get out of my way. Don't tell me. Harrison! I'm ready to throw him out now. Now you're talking. I am solidly behind you. I think this is the right time to get him to myself. Marrying a man who disrespects me is what I cannot tolerate. Since you have always wanted space, I have given you a whole lot of it. Pick your things and never return to my house again. I am done with you in this so-called marriage. So this one going the hour. What happened? My friend threw me out. 
Bianca threw you out? What? How could she be this wicked? It's fine, I'm here. Just put your things in the car. Let's, let's go. I'll take you. No, it's fine. I, I'll fix myself. I can just load somewhere or something. This is the one problem that is wrong with you guys. You will fix yourself by this time. How do you intend to do that? Please get your things in the boots. What kind of life is this I'm living? I'm living home. Can she change one day? What kind of life is this I'm living? Oh, what kind of life? Can she change one day? What kind of life is this I'm living? Can she change one day? It's been a few minutes I entered. I haven't seen your husband hurt since. Point of correction, ex-husband. I threw him out. What? Where he is, I don't know, and I don't care. What do you mean you threw him out? Can you believe this, kids? Harrison left my house in the middle of the night to go see his numerous concubines. A married man at that. What time did he leave? 10 p.m. I was actually the one that called him. I was very, very sick. I needed to go to the hospital. I called you, but you weren't speaking. So he was the next person I could quickly call. So he rushed and took me to the hospital, promised to come back in the morning. I waited, but I had to tell the doctor to discharge me. Wait a minute. You were the one that called Harrison? Oh my goodness. What have I done to myself? Where do I find my husband? What have I done? I can't believe I messed up again. Uh, honestly speaking, I, I don't know what to say now. How could you have made such a drastic decision? I don't know what came over me. I need to call Irene. I, I need to go to her house so she can help me look for him. Oh my goodness. I was a fool. Yeah, I was a fool. I don't know what came up for me. Please forgive me. Oh my goodness. Now I know. What have I done? Saying you've not set your eyes on Harrison for a long time now. Madam, you don't tell. You never, even you like this, you never tell. In the house. Where do I find him? My goodness. I need to see Erin right away. She needs to help me find him. I can do anything just to make you feel happy. Do I know you? Um, I'm sorry, I know you don't remember me, but on the 15th of March was yeah. supposed to be your wedding. My daughter was the person that ran up to your husband and started calling him daddy. Your daughter? Have you succeeded in destroying my marriage? No, have you succeeded? Why would you be pregnant for my husband in the first place? What's the meaning of that? I'm very sorry. This is just a very big misunderstanding. How? My daughter, she has this thing for fair guys. You know, her father, my baby daddy, left us so many years ago without even explaining anything. So now anytime she sees a fair guy, she just thinks he's her father. So oh, you've never met my man before? I've never seen him in my life. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience we may have caused you. Oh my goodness. I never knew it with a lady so she changed one day. What kind of life is this I'm living? Because she changed one day. Hold on. Hi. How are you? What are you doing here? You should at least let me in first now. 
I ask again. What are you doing in my house? Irene. Irene. Um, please come and check this if there's no salt in it. Harrison is the reason you have been avoiding me, Irene. Huh? A man you attended his wedding? <sighs> Irene, I am ashamed of you. A pig will always remain a pig. And as for you, Harrison, so this is what you do. Um, and what? A shameless married man flirting around with other women, yet you accuse Bianca to be the devil. Harrison, you are a disgrace to marriage. That's a pig. Roy, it's, it's not what. Listen, listen. Come right here, okay? Listen. Do not take what you said to heart. Who would not take this thing to heart? Eh? By seeing both of us like this, who? Why are you complaining? We didn't even do anything. Look. Why are you worried when we didn't do anything? Harry, sit. What's going on here? Bianca, it's, it's, it's not what you think. It's, 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 it's not what it looks like. I can explain. You advised me to throw him out of my house. Don't know you have interest in him. You are a devil. I caused the day we became friends. Sister, I warned you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Have you seen the repercussion of what you did? Have you seen it? Now what do we do now? What do we do? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so confused right now. Hey, hey, hey! Hold it there. I'm so sorry. I, it's, it's the handbook of the devil. Yes. I, I didn't yes. mean to do any of that. I'm very sorry for you. Really? Yes. Sorry. You are sorry? Yes. Sorry is too late to cry when their head is cut off. I mean, after everything I did for you and your boyfriend, I gave you good life. Good life worth living. A roof over your head. I mean, I gave you a good paying job. But what did you do to pay me back? You chased me out of my own house. I decided to let you leave to let you continue living. Not that I cannot chase you out of this house. But I bought this house to support you. For bringing you out from that dirty life you were living. Please, we are sorry. Yes. We are sorry. I am I'm, I'm her brother. I'm not her boyfriend. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. What a joke of the century. Okay, so she staged you as her boyfriend to keep me away from her, right? You are sorry, sir. Congratulations, because your trick worked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know what? We have come to the end of the road. Yes. I cannot allow you to keep living in this house. Please. Oh, hey, 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 hey! I wouldn't want to force you because you will not like it. Your time starts now. Now guys, in the next two minutes, they don't get out of this house, 
Both of them out of this house. Okay. Get out! Accident, where? Okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. What happened? I'm saying, as a result of the incident, she was driving and drinking. She lost control of the car. Oh my god. Babe, I'm, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look. Nothing happened between Erin and I, please. It's okay. I should be the one apologizing to you, I say. I have not been fair towards you. I have been maltreating you. I'm sure it was my ill treatment to you that pushed you to do what you did. I'm so sorry. Baby, it's okay. Harrison, I found that that job is actually not yours. I should have listened to you. It's fine. It's I'm fine. so sorry. It's okay, see. baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Henceforth, all documents to my properties will be transferred to your name. <laughs> Henceforth, I will be the good wife you've always wanted me to be. It's okay. Yeah, we shouldn't be talking about that now. Just know I love you. I'm sorry, I'm It's fine. Okay. Um, please, um, let's go see the doctor. Okay. Yeah. Please don't leave me. You stay with me. Okay. Yeah. Please call me the doctor, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, come in, come in. You have a beautiful place here. Thank you, darling. Honey? Hi, honey. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Meet my friend, Sonia. We actually bump into each other, and she decided to come around. Mm -hmm. Sonia, meet my lovely husband, Roy. Hi, Sonia. Welcome. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Don't worry, make yourself comfortable. All right, thank you. Honey? Let me get us something to drink. <laughs> oh, okay. Please don't be long. Oh, um, I'll be back soon. Okay, babe. Sonia, what are you doing here? You think you can ruin my life and enjoy yours to the fullest? And what is that supposed to mean? You got me pregnant and abandoned me to suffer. You made me suffer emotional pains of going through gestation period without a paternity care. Right? Sonia, you and I know that whatever that happened between us was a mistake. You see how myopic you are? You call that a mistake? My sister found out I was pregnant and chased me back to the village. Do you know what your lack of self-control cost me? Oh, that both of us enjoy the act, didn't we? Really? I have a son who is bearing your name. What? Honey, I'm here. What do you want, boy? No, I'm not at all. Okay. Mm. So here is yours. Oh, thank you, honey. You will be too. Should I feed you? Don't you. worry, feed yourself. <laughs> hmm. My love. Yeah, babe. Mm. Actually, my husband is so sweet. Hmm. I say that again. <laughs> I mean, he's the best husband any woman could ever have. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm right? We're correct. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, he did not look at another woman. <laughs> exactly. I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> I know, and I trust you. Of course, you should trust me. <laughs> Honestly, that guy was so funny. 
I mean, what was he thinking? That I was going to marry him? Oh. <laughs> A bully? Hell no! Not when God has given me an angel. <laughs> Sweet, loving, and caring husband. <laughs> you can say that again. And I will say it always. <laughs> Come to think of it, babe. <clears throat> it is better marrying a bully than marrying a rapist. Yes. Oh, Roy, am I not right? Oh, you're absolutely right. Oh. You know what? Both don't deserve a woman as a wife. Honey, you are talking. <laughs> um, honey, can you please observe table manners? Oh, <laughs> no talking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Men, if you meet one who is not a bully, he's either a rapist or a total beast. Men, eh? My you sister! Ah! Honey, <laughs> what does not talking mean? Um. Mm, no talking. Good. Uh -huh. Honey? Yes, darling. Honey, I am not comfortable with your friend staying with us. But why? It's just for today. Honey, she shouldn't have come at all. Are you having eyes on her? <laughs> How could you say such a thing? I'm not. Well, what were you expecting me to say? Sonia and I have been best friends even before we got married. She has been so supportive. She is the only friend that I have. So please, please, learn to accommodate her for my sake, darling. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay? Um, I'm going to give it a thought. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Now. <laughs> you know what? You can now go in. I will join you shortly. Okay. I'll be waiting. Why not help me get up? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Easy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'll join you soon. No problem. <laughs> Make sure you don't waste time. I won't. What's the meaning of this? What about that? Look, you have to do anything I ask to make me happy. Meaning? I need you to make love to me right here and now, just the same way you did it in my sister's house. Will you get your hands off me, you dog? Are you mad? Have you gone insane? I should make love to you in my sitting room when my wife is in the room. Are you not? <laughs> Listen, I will not do such. Then watch me tell your wife you have a son with me. Hey, 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 come back here. Now listen to me. If you think you are going to place me under some sort of blackmail, you better have a rethink. Because I am not going to make love to you. I can say you are determined to beat your unborn child and wife goodbye. And what are you going to do today? Don't worry about that. When the time comes, you know. God, how did this devil get her way to my house? Thank you for 
Charlie. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it was my pleasure having you around. Right, yeah. darling? <laughs> Thank you, my pleasure too. Thank you so much. Um, Nora. Yeah? There is something about your husband you don't know about. <laughs> what could that be? He is... He's a kind-hearted man. <laughs> Caring. And from the look of things, he's a good husband to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I have to run along now. Okay. I'll miss you, babe. Mm, I'll miss you too. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Okay. No problem. <laughs> so, I'll come back next time. Maybe when you put to bed, I'll come and stay like one week or more. Feel free. You're always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> my home is yours. So oh, you say that again. Do I Take care of my friend. Oh. And continue oh. being the. Okay. I'm glad you will. He will. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She's such a nice friend. For sure. <laughs> we have a crazy friend here. Oh yeah. She's my very best and good friend. <laughs> oh, honey, is her coming back again necessary? <laughs> Come on, why not? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You know, I would love to have her around next time, so don't be angry. out here, leaving what I was doing inside to come and give you a remote. Dokas, you know I'm pregnant and I can't even move my legs. Ah. Also because you are pregnant, I should clap for you. Eh? As the first woman to ever get pregnant. See, let me tell you, if you cannot stand up to get that remote yourself, don't disturb me, oh! Dokas, don't disturb me! My work in this house is in the kitchen, not to come and give you a remote. Dokas! Are you talking to me rudely in my own house? Don't guys come back here! What? What just happened? Did she just walk out on me? Hello, my precious jewel. King in here. I'm fine. <laughs> but as for your little king, why don't you ask him yourself? Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello, King. How are you? And the weather over there? Alright. That you just returned. Please marry guests to your siblings and we're expecting you soon, okay? What? What did you say? It is between father and son. Really? <laughs> so, are you trying to tell me I'm not important? Come on, honey, I never said so. Of course, <laughs> you know you are the most important thing to me. Anyway, it's fine. You know what? Just go inside, freshen up while I set the table. Hmm? All right. <laughs> I'll be back in a jiffy, okay? All right. <laughs> told me that he was here earlier today. Yes, he was. Uh, I was so tired that I couldn't go to the hospital for antenatal, so I 
invited him over to the house. Okay. Okay. Honey. Yes, darling. Remember your condition. You don't have to be stressing yourself much, okay? <laughs> I'm not stressing myself. <laughs> I'm okay. Yes. I have not seen Dokas since I came back. Where is she? She should be in her room. Okay. Um, honey. Hmm? Dokas is beginning to put up some funny attitude that I do not understand. How? How I, do you mean? I asked her to help me with a TV remote and she asked me to pick it up myself. Could what? You imagine what? That? What nonsense? Is she blind to see that you are pregnant? I don't know. Even I myself, I was so surprised. Honey, it's time I fix some senses into that girl's brain. Dokas! No, oh, no, 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 please. Don't do that. It's not necessary. What do you mean it's not necessary? <sighs> Isn't that act of irresponsibility? Honey, I know, but I fixed that already. Okay? This is the reason I said I don't want a housemaid in this house, but you insisted. Now see what is playing out. But my love, what were you expecting me to do? My friend told me she's good. How am I supposed to know that everything is going to end up this way? Your friend told you she's good until she kills my unborn baby. God huh? forbid, not my baby. Babe, how could you say a thing like that? Honey, I, no, 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 no. You don't deserve all this now. Look at your condition and the girl you brought to this house will be disturbing you. Listen to me, she can never kill our child, okay? So next time, don't say such a thing again. Fine, I withdraw that statement, but... It's okay. You know you just finished eating. You have to relax, calm down. I'm sorry, hmm? <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be fine. I'm okay. Sorry, sir. I was bored inside. I decided to come outside and entertain myself a little. Sorry, so, sorry for your stupidity. You are sorry. How many times have you seen me smoke in this house? Is the TV in the sitting room not enough to keep you company? Then you turn my house into a club. Listen. If this ever repeat itself again in this compound, eh? I will be forced to throw you out of this house. I want my wife to, to, not, to, to not to bring a house up into this house, but she won't listen. Now throw that, throw that cigarette away. I just throw it away. Rubbish. Let this repeat itself again in this house, and you see what I will do to you. Honey. Honey, you're running late now. Where are you? I don't want you to miss your flight. Almost ready. Women and their delays. I don't want you to miss your flight now. Where are you? Hey, you look so good. Ah, look at you. <laughs> what is it? I'm going to miss you. I know. But don't worry, I won't be too long, okay? You know my work, when they give you an assignment, you have to carry it without wasting time. You know if given an opportunity, I will not hesitate to be in your hands. But I have to go, my love. It's okay. It's okay. Besides, it's for the family, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Safe trip, okay? Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too. Okay, let's go. I hope you're not forgetting anything. No, I'm not. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Wait, it's like, are you also 
surprised to see me? Come on. Um, how did you how did you get my resident address? Oh, stop, please. Are you not happy to see me? Oh my God. You know, you really have a nice place here. Thank you, but wow. how did you get my address? Oh, stop it. Stop acting like you're really happy to see me. Excited to see me. Uh, well, I am, uh, but... But what? Oh. Wow. Wow. Like... Sorry, um... Won't you offer me something, Harrison? Sorry, what? What can I offer you? Whiskey will do. I thought you said you don't do alcohol. Oh, really? I say that? Oh, well, there's always a first time. So, I pray for alcohol right now because the alcohol is up, so I need whiskey. Mm hmm. What? Nothing. Let me get you. Let me get you a drink. doing here? I thought our game has ended long time ago. What if she had a god? What if she has come when Bianca was still around? It's late. It's late. You have to leave. It's late, okay? Where is it? Oh. It's late. You have to. You have to. Hey, enough of the accord. Enough of the accord, okay? Okay, hey, 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 hey. Enough. You have to leave, alright? Oh. Uh. Harrison, take me in. Take me home. Oh. Harry, I want to lick you. Harry. What kind of a problem is this now? Eh? Harrison, baby. I don't even know where she lives. Where am I taking her to? I should have even given her a call in the first place. What kind of what kind of water this one? Flora. Flora. Hey, come on. It's late, okay? Flora. Take me in. Flora, it's late. Sorry. Come on. Take me in, Sophie. Sleeping as if somebody was pressing my neck. Somebody was somebody was pressing my neck. Pressing your neck in, in this house. Ah. Okay, um, it's fine. Um, I'll take you to another room. Okay. No, no, no. Please let me stay here with you. Flora, you can't you can't stay here. This is this is my matrimonial bed. It's okay, fine. If you don't want me to stay, I'll lie on the floor. It's 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 okay. It's okay. Um, you, you can you can stay here. I, I can show your bed with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, 
That's right. I, I can lie here. Yeah, yeah, you can. He's covering me. Hey, darling. Mm. Who are you? Hope you had a good night. Try something. Why are you still wearing my shirt? Come on, babe. Stop it now. Mm. Why are you so harsh? Are you chasing me out of your house already? I thought you were supposed to have gone. You know, what's going on here? Hi, Kate. Hi. And what are you doing putting on Harrison's clothes? Uh, uh, uh. I can I can explain. She came visiting and was drunk and couldn't do. She slept over. I'm disappointed here. You see what you have caused? What? What did I do? Why is she troubling because she saw me wore your top? What if she caught me on top of you? What would she do? It must be very, very crazy. Look, by the time I get in there, how come out you have left here? Mercy, stop. Where is my wife? Um, I think she's inside. Okay, let me not bother her. Please get me fresh orange juice. Okay, sir.
you say my wife is? Hmm? Where, where is my wife? My wife? Can you please call the doctor for me? Hmm? Can you please help me and call the doctor, please? Uh, oh. Call me my wife, please. Doctors, call me my wife. I am dying. Mm. Oh. We can drink more. Maybe if. Oh. Maybe you should take more. I. getting my balance. Hey, now he's lying down. He's lying down here, dead. He's dead. Do you want me to snap him and send to you? Okay, no problem. Please, I want my balance. I will send you the picture now. Just wait. One man down. Mission accomplished. to kill me. See the person that wants me dead. I am waiting. Demon, demon in the house, help clothing. Look, looking for who to destroy. Sorry, 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 sir. I'm okay. Hello, officer. Huh? Officer. Please, are you close? Hmm. All right, sir. Please hurry up. Hey. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oga okay, big, move it. See, I, I'll be small picking, oh. Forget this body mix. I'll be small picking, Oga okay, big. Small picking, you gave way to kill person. But you have the way to poison my drink. You think I will die? Attempts to damnate my life. When your attempt to discarder my marriage did not work. Yes, I did not die. Don't worry. You all will rot in jail. Oh God, I beg. Oh God, I beg. Oh God, I beg. It's my first time, I beg. Now I'm going to make me come do this job, I beg. Oh God, I beg. 
Sir, please. So what happened, man? I don't want to rust in jail, please. I, I'm a friend. I said, what happened, sir? Don't worry. You will graduate in jail, okay? Sir, sir. Officer, move this people away. My box! I'm them! Move me my box! Yes, move. Move. move me my box! Take them move. away! Move! Move! move. You are a devil! Move! Move! Take them away! Move! Sir, sir. Move! Move! That is my wife. How is she doing? She's fine. She's responding to treatment. Uh, I believe she fainted because she lost her strength while oh. hitting the door. Please, is, is the baby affected? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Thank all she needs now is good rest. Okay. And from my observation, I think she will put to bed in a few days' time. Thank God! So you mean in the next few days I'm going to be a father? Exactly. Oh, thank exactly. God, thank God. Doctor, I really appreciate you, okay? No problem. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank Roy, you. you're welcome. All right. You're welcome. God, thank God. She got drunk. Okay, um, there was no way I could take her to the house because I didn't know where she stayed. So she, I just offered to let her stay, but truthfully, nothing happened. Well, I believe you, but you have to be very careful. Don't give, don't give in to make propaganda. I promise, I won't. Is that right? I have to rush to the office. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. See you soon, right? All right, bye. To stay where? Here. Huh? Hey, who's your baby? Don't touch me. Are you are you are you normal? Paris, it's me, Flora. Come on, you know. Come on, don't. What? Ah. Take your things and get out of my house. Pick your things and get out of my house. Are you deaf? You're not going anywhere. I'm not going. Show this get out, of, get out of my house. It's me, your hey. baby. Oh. It's me, your baby. Thank God you are here. Thank God you are here, kids. I was on the call with my wife. And this homo erectus of a person just passed into my house. Oh. Saying uh, she's, she's, she, uh, I'm here to stay. Eh? Flora, what is that please your problem? We did the job and we paid you handsomely. Exactly. What else do you want? Kids. 
I'm a human and I have feelings. I started developing feelings for Arison ever since I started playing along to make Bianca love him. What's my offense? Yes. You must be out of your mind. You, you must be out of your mind. How can you develop those soft feelings? Eh? Were you not paid? Really? Harrison? Okay, fine. I have to make this clear to you and Kate that I am not going anywhere because I have come to stay. Harrison, I love you. Can't you see? He's looking too much for it. You lie. You lie. We did a job and we paid you very, very well. So you don't have any business with Harrison. If you know what is good for you, pick your box and leave. Okay, fine. If that's what you want, I am not going anywhere. I am not leaving. I am not going anywhere because I have come to say this is my husband's house. Kill me if you want to. I'm not going to my husband's house. Look, look, let me tell you something. Don't make me do something stupid. Do anything to me, Harrison. I love you. Ah. <laughs> hey! Hey, hey! Don't make me do something you would not like. Do it to me. Bundle her out! Bundle her out! Get out! Me, you don't say name Hey! I'm going to talk on you. I'm going to talk on you. I'm going to talk on you. I'm going to stop my mouth. Bundle her out! I'm going to talk on you. Get out! Let's go up to them. Yeah, so how may I help you? Good day, sir. Good day. My name is Belinda and she's Gift. Oh. We came to look for our brother, but he seems not to be around. Okay, why don't you try calling him on phone? We've been calling his number, but he's not reachable. Oh, I see. So, what do you need me to do? If you allow us to stay in your house and wait for him, once he's back, we leave. Please, sir. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Come in. Come in. Amos. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Not idiots. Come in. Mm. Mm. Well done, sir. Good day. How may we help you, sir? We are here to see you, Olga. My boss? Yes. So, who will I tell him he's looking for him? Just tell him that some men are here to see him. Two men are here to see him. No name. My brother, the fence are here. Please go and call your boss. Okay. Olga? Olga? Yes, good day. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Inspector Philip, and with me is Sergeant Ben. Okay. We are here to search this house. Search my house? Why? Well, as he rightly said, we are here to search your house, so please come forward. Eh? Do you have a warrant? Of course. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
It's okay. But are you the only person staying in this house? Uh, yeah, my wife and I live here, but she's traveled. Um, gentlemen, okay, this way. So, 
This man came to suicide. <laughs> Birthday, the excellency of my peace, my ecstasy, Aww. my water. Aww. Without you, my life will be dehydrated. <laughs> my dogu, the one who gives me joy and peace. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. Mm. I love you too. <laughs> this is your new ride. Enjoy it. Is this woman? Yes. All yours. <laughs> Music. <laughs> What kind of life is this I'm living? I'm living alone. Can she change one day? What kind of life is this I'm living? Oh, what kind of life? Oh, can she change? 